The 525-foot skyscraper at 20 Fenchurch Street in London, England, earns the nickname Walkie Talkie thanks to its unique design. Slim at the bottom and wider at the top, locals could not help noticing its similarities to a handheld two-way radio. However, the Walkie Talkie also has another nickname, and that's Walkie Scorchy. Construction began on the skyscraper in 2011 amidst controversy surrounding its appearance. It was complete enough for its first tenant to take up residence in May of 2014. Construction finished in August of that same year. However, long before completion, in September of 2013, the director of Moderna Contracts, Martin Lindsay, parked his car across the street from the south side of the Walkie Talkie building. His Jaguar XJ was in the parking space there for about an hour or two before he returned to find finds the plastic mirror, Jaguar album, and other parts of his car had somehow been melted by sunlight that was reflected from the walkie-talkie building. Lindsay told the BBC about his experience returning to his car that day. I was walking down the road and I saw a photographer taking photos and asked, what's happening? The photographer asked me, have you seen that car? The owner won't be happy. I said, I am the owner. Crikey, that's awful. Fortunately for Lindsay, the construction company owned up to the damage and left a note on his windshield asking for him to give them a call. They paid for the repairs, costing £946, or about $1,400. But Lindsay's luxury Jaguar was not the only casualty of the walkie-talkie's so-called death ray. A van owned by heating and air conditioning engineer Eddie Cannon received a similar treatment. He stated of the inside of his van, Every bit of plastic on the left-hand side and everything on the dashboard had melted, including a bottle that looks like it has been baked. Certain businesses on the southern side of the skyscraper also sustained heat damage, including cracked tiles and singed carpets. One business owner even fried an egg and toasted a baguette in the light from the building. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One business owner even fried an egg and toasted a baguette in the light from the building. So, what's going on here? Well, the south side of the walkie-talkie curves into a concave shape, resulting in light reflected from a large area being concentrated into a small one. Architect Raphael Vanoli designed the building knowing that the concave on the south side would have this problem, but he and his team did not expect the building to produce nearly as much heat as it can on certain sunny days. Vanoli told The Guardian, When it, the problem, was spotted on a second design iteration, we judged the temperature was going to be about 36 degrees Celsius, but it's turned out to be more like 72 degrees Celsius. For those wanting that in freedom units, that would be 161 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way. After paying to fix the damages done by their building, the owners of the walkie-talkie installed a temporary sunshade in early 2014. This device consisted of a dark screen that prevented the reflected sunlight from causing damage. The permanent fix consisted of installing horizontal aluminium fins throughout the offending south side, which diminished the view a bit from inside the building, but also killed the death ray. Funnily enough, this is not the only time world-renowned architect Raphael Vinoli has dealt with the consequences of the sun reflecting off one of his buildings. He designed the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas, which similarly had a so-called death ray due to its concave shape. In this case, different areas of the pool deck got affected throughout the day. In one reported instance, hotel guest Bill Pintas had his hair singed while he was lounging by the pool and the death ray moved over him. He ran from the area as it began burning him, and when he got back after the heat ray had moved on, a plastic bag holding a newspaper next to where he'd been sitting had partially melted, which he took a picture of for documentation. He was told by hotel workers nearby that they'd even seen disposable drink containers melt under the power of this reflection. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. For more from me, why not check out my other channel called Highlight History. You will find a link to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.